In this video, we check out La Tecaria del Chupacabra found in the corner market of Podium, Ortigas. If it's your first time in my channel, please consider subscribing! Hello everybody, this is Great from Planet Great. I'm so excited because tonight I'm gonna eat Mexican food. I haven't had Mexican food in a very long time. So I'm here at the podium, this area called the Corner Market Food Hall, which is found on the third floor, or is it the second floor? The third floor of the podium. And it's none other than El Chupacabra, La Taqueria del Chupacabra. They have a small uh, spot over here and uh, the food is very tasty. Uh, I know it's exactly like the one that they have in Poblacion. I've been to the Poblacion branch and the food is really good, especially the cheese. And the little street tacos that they're famous for. Hola amigos, me llamo grande. Esta en la, la food court and la mall de Podium, and we're going to eat uh, delicious food from El Chupacabra. They have a branch here, and we ordered some uh, some stuff. So take a look at this stuff. So guys, check out these tortilla or nacho chips, and of course this amazing, super tasty cheese dip, and of course we got the spicy sauce. We also got a burrito. Let's show you what's inside this burrito, or what it looks like at least. There you go. So this dish comes with three sauces, a green sauce, chili sauce, mayo, and a red chili sauce. And of course we have chips, and of course we have a quesadilla. And since it's a weekend, I ordered myself a tall glass of sangria. Ole, ole, ole! So we ordered these nachos uh, with this uh, melted cheese and it looks like it's really good. And we also ordered burrito, this combo meal, it's like burritos with a fajita and there's like a baby crying behind me. Fajitas and nachos again with different sauces. And of course I had to get my delicious sangria. And of course, I ate here before, this other place, Sultan again. But we got it, we got our food at uh, El Chupacabra. I was so excited to dig in, so I grabbed a chip and dipped it in the cheese. Try this delicious. Cheesy, tasty. I must say the cheese dip is kind of tasty. It has some bits of uh, meat in it. I guess it's like pork. Pork bits and there's some vegetable in it to garnish the cheese. But the dish is small but um, it's a deep dish. And the refreshing way to wash down those nacho chips is to get a very tasty sangria. Cheers! Mmm! There are apples in it, fresh apples. This is like or orange slices, bits here. And it's um, with wine, I would, I guess it's with wine. Tasty! So I'm downing the uh, cheese and jalapeno quesadilla and here's what it looks like inside mm, so cheesy with lots of jalapeno jalapeno so we finally make our way back to the burrito. 
so now it's time to try this burrito. I'm not a fan, I must confess, I'm not a fan of burritos because it has a lot of rice and usually there's a lot of uh, beans also, which I I used to like before, but I don't like them as much now. But anyway, I put some sauce on it. You can see there's this uh, salsa sauce, some mayo, and then the green chili sauce, and then the red chili sauce bell. Now let's try it. Very light. Tasty. And it's good, it's not so filling. It's just a bit of rice in it. So guys, this burrito is a decent burrito. My friend here is saying that the the wrapper is actually very thin and it's not thick. So it seems like um, a very light and easy meal to consume. So guys, the Mexican beans came out in this bur in this burrito. Um, actually, I'm enjoying it because the, these Mexican beans are usually in chili con carne, and it's so tasty. I used to eat lots of chili con carne. Now chili and chili and and here's me fooling around with the burrito. And here I'm fooling around with the quesadilla. You might be wondering what I am scraping here. If you can give a guess, in a moment, you'll find out. So if you guess the cheese from the dip, you are right. I'm putting all the leftover chips on top and stuffing it in my mouth. I remember as a kid, when you're eating spaghetti at home, and I finished the spaghetti, and if there's still sauce left on the plate, I would lift up the plate and lick the leftover sauce with my tongue, just like a cat. So guys, so that the, the cheese won't be sayang, you have to scrape it off, put the last of the bits of the nachos on top of it, and then dump it in your mouth and chew it like you love it. And this is what's left. So they have combo plates, which are a combination of various dishes. Then you have the rest of the menu, which are a la carte dishes. There are some chairs by the stall Feel free to sit there and eat your meal, as well as grab some drinks by the bar. So guys, if you do come here to El Chupacabra, Taqueria del Chupacabra, you have to look for Miss Joanna over here. She will service you really well, just like she did us. So we just finished eating at El Chupacabra, La Taqueria del Chupacabra. And the food was really good. It's just like their branch in, in Poblacion in Makati. So I would highly recommend you come here and try their food here at the Corner Market Food Hall in the podium. They have so many places to eat. As you could see here, uh, there are lots of people. And I'm going to call it a night.